Alright guys, so welcome back. Uh, uh, we are going to uh, go down this little uh, this cave. This thing here, by the way, just to show you what this was. Is there a helicopter? What the fuck was that? This thing here is um, an, an, another entrance to the cave that I, whenever I was down there, I found. Um, but I think we'll go down the way that the cave was designed to go down. I.e. through the door. <laughs> And he, and you know, th now all my mobs have disappeared. I, uh, like, where the, where are the two wolves that were here? I don't understand. I thought mobs didn't despawn anymore. You know, I'm really getting confused by this. I'm on 1.2.5, as you can see. Oh, whatever. You know, getting a bit frustrated by the fact that I might not have any food, so I might have to go hunting for a little bit, but I, uh, I didn't want to use those chickens up until I could breed them and then they've disappeared, the pig and the cow have disappeared, the two wolves have disappeared, which really bugs me because I wanted wolves, I don't, I don't know, right, whatever. Right, I'm going to explore this, um, we're going to explore this cave using the technique that I learned about, uh, so you don't get lost, oh, let me just fill this up. But you put down the torches only on one side, and I think I'll choose the left side. Um, and that way, when you're coming back out, you know to follow the torches as if they were on your right, and then you'll always be coming the opposite of the direction you came down in. I know I'm using all the blocks I brand already, but I'm going to try and limit mob spawning in this cave as much as possible, and sometimes the best ways of doing that is literally just to block it up. Um, so yeah. On the left, on the left, ooh, some coal, I'll get that now actually. So, Kingslayer with MC Kupo just uh, has all been up now, um, it might actually have been up for a couple of days by the time this episode comes out. Um, what did you guys think? Uh, a lot of people have been asking for me to do more, and believe me guys, that's, I've always, I always want to do more, I, th the reason I started it was because... I like to bar to engage with you guys, you know, I like to um, interact with my subscribers, I love that sort of shit, and <laughs> Kingslayer is one of the best formats I've ever seen for doing that, you know, you actually get to play with you guys, and it's not just like one or two lucky people who win a contest, it's regulars, you know, and I really like that, so trust me, I will be continuing it on as, as for as long as I can realistically keep it going. Um, and I don't see any any stop to that soon, to be honest. So, uh, but what I was going to say is, please don't uh, PM me asking me to be in the next team. Because I just, I'll ignore it. I, I will, guys. Because I, I, you know, when have you not seen me do a, a video about, about how to take part? I always announce it. And I always say, this is how you take part. And it's, each time it's been a little bit different. And I like that. I like that I keep it fresh and I keep it kind of exciting I don't know if I'll go for video responses again it was pretty cool and I, if I do I might have a different sort of a, a theme I might ask you to do it in a certain way or something so just don't PM me because like if anything it's just going to like slightly wind me up you know what I mean because you know you do know how how I do this now you know if you've been a subscriber for me for a while and yes I do have some new subscribers so perhaps I'm being a little bit harsh and I'm just being a bit critical on people who don't really know what the format is uh, but if so then this is your opportunity to sort of listen and, and understand that I, I I will announce it every time don't you worry about that you'll not miss out on it if you watch if you watch my videos you will not miss out on it the Cooper one was a little bit short notice I agree and I would have rather have had more notice I'm hoping to I think I've got somebody lined up but to be honest guys if you guys want to help out um, one of the best things you can do is help me publicize it. Um, I don't mind other people taking the format if they want to use it. That's cool. I would I would like to get, you know, credit for it in the description if at all possible. Just because, oh, iron. Because you know, I, I I would rather this not escape me too much, uh, in the sense that I don't mind other people doing it. If like you know, if if, if I woke up tomorrow and like uh, uh, the Oxcast were doing a um, a watch a Kingslayer against Dave, I'd be like, wow, that's awesome. I would like somehow to be mentioned because I came up with the idea format. But I, what I'm saying is, other people can do it. 
My point is, if people publicize this and publicize it to the, all the other YouTubers that they like, and say, oh, there's this guy Gar, he's come up with this really cool format, this sort of new ultra hardcore type format um, for battling against his subscribers, would you like to uh, take part in him? It helps me out a bit because, you know, I, I've only got 3,000, four, almost 4,000 subs now, which is like amazing. I'm so happy with it. Don't. That's not what I'm trying to, I'm not trying to say I'm not. Um, what I'm trying to say is, though, it can be a bit difficult to get a hold of some of these bigger guys, as you know yourselves, you know. You know, I'm sure some people have sent off PMs to them, and it's difficult to get a hold of them, and rightly so, because they can't really respond to every PM they get. Once you get a certain size, you're going to get tons more PMs. I'm seeing that myself. The bigger I get, the more PMs I get. I try and respond to as many as possible. Well, I'll, I'll, let me rephrase that. I try and respond to the ones that... Um, merit a response <laughs> you know the ones that actually ask a question and that question isn't just can i do this with you will you come on my server will you sign my baby's forehead you know those types of things um wow right Let's get this iron so i keep talking about that cool um you know so like if you if you if you know somebody you know and I, if you if you look at the subscriber counts of the th of the past three people that I've that I've done uh, King Slayers with, then um, they've all got they've got bigger each time uh, as I've done it. You know, um, they've always been slightly bigger than me. So the last the last time I did it was with um, C Cupo, who's at about five thousand subs, maybe six thousand now, something along those lines. Um, don't go into the lava. I've got a water bucket in my inventory. I should probably pop that out. Um, you know, um, which I would like to keep, I would like to keep that up if possible, you know, I would like to maintain the whole, um, c constantly go against bigger and bigger people. One of the inspirations I had for, uh, for doing Kingslayer was from <coughs> a guy called Generic B. Excuse me a minute, guys. <coughs> um, prob some of you probably, um, probably know him, in fact, I'll say a lot of you probably know him. He's getting quite big now. Uh, he's a very good Minecrafter, pretty good with redstone, and it was because of his uh, pretty goodness, <laughs> if you will, with redstone that he decided to set up a an event called um, Redstone Wars, which is pretty cool. Basically, he goes up against the YouTuber, and they have an hour to come up with uh, a build to build something, and they can practice beforehand. But basically, they have to s go by a set design. Um, well, not a set design, uh, a set theme. Oh, redstone, awesome. Um, uh oh. Well, I'm worried about the same thing happening to that redstone. Let's do a little bit explore. Ooh, let's do a little bit of exploring. Um, you have to come up under it like a. So we, I think the first one was something like mob farms or. Oh uh, yeah, right. Let's see if we can do that. Jump down. Go for a little exploring. Oh, uh, more redstone. Awesome. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so you know, he does various different mob farms. I uh, did very different redstone contraptions, which I think is really cool. And that allowed him to build up a um, expanding subscriber base, you know? Like, uh, he, 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 he was made aware, he, he became aware, uh, people <laughs> who were subscribed to other bigger channels each time became aware of him because of what he was doing. And because of his, you know, he's pretty good with redstone. Um, and that's cool because like that's exactly what I'm trying to do um, with Kingslayer except I want to engage I want to um, make you guys feel involved as well because that's something that I've taken from another great youtuber Doc M Doc M 77 who if you know me you've heard me spam about him like loads I think he is like an inspiration damn it I think he's an inspiration for how to how to, how to do YouTube right, um, especially when it comes to like subscriber interaction, and that that's who I sort of follow when it comes to what how I want to interact with you guys. You know, he does this great thing where he does like channel spotlights. He's not been able to do as many of them recently as he, as he used to, which is a shame. But when he did, like it, it was great. Uh, he had subscribers of the week and stuff. He had all this really awesome stuff, and I, eventually, I'd love to get into that. I'm a little bit busy right now, and unfortunately, if anything, I'm actually going to get even busier 
soon. But um, I would still, you know, that's still something I, I want to take. I want to consider and take part in and stuff. So as I say, yeah, you guys have got so much more power and control than you than you realize. Um, I want to briefly talk about the like button, and I don't like talking about it that much um, because I don't ever want to really become a person who like begs for likes or anything. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of each video, I put my little catchphrase, I guess, which is "If you like the video, please like the video," because I kind of think that makes a difference. You know, well, it makes a difference in in two ways. For a start, it lets me know what you guys actually do like. So in in many ways, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be spammed. I guess you know what I mean. Uh, contrary to what I'm about to say next, <laughs> but it l let me tell you how it works. If you get around 300 likes, uh, if, if people who are fans of Dave, Ch Dave Chaos for a while will probably know this as well because he did a little video on it. If you have about 300 likes, you get on the featured page, and once you get on the featured page people who aren't already subscribed to you and don't specifically necessarily search for you will see you and you'll get more views and you'll probably get more subs because a certain percentage of those will subscribe to you and that will help me grow and that will mean you get more likes so the more likes you get in one video the more likes you're almost certainly going to get in the next video and often the number of likes doesn't always correlate to how many likes you actually deserve for the video it's either how much you ask for them or how many subscribers you have and whilst that's cool it does mean that big people stay big. Whenever I was smaller, I was getting lots of likes. I, I had a really incredi incredibly tight-knit, small, interactive fan base. And they were great. They had, everyone left comments and everyone left a like, usually. I had about 100 likes per video, usually. And that's awesome. I love it. I've got bigger now, and my likes have more or less stayed the same. Now, I want to know from you guys, is that because I'm doing something wrong, or is it just because you're not either... And I know myself, sometimes I just forget to click the like button. Is it that, or is it um, or is it that, you know, you don't want to click the like button? And, and if so, like let, let me know. Um, leave a comment instead saying, I would have liked this video, except blah, 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 it was too long, or I w the sound was difficult, or I didn't like the content, I would rather you do this, that kind of thing. Um... You can dislike it, of course, as well. I mean, that's up to you. Uh, feedback is, is is always appreciated, no matter in, in, in no matter what, guys. Um, I would rather a comment than a dislike because the thing about a dislike is it doesn't really tell you much about it. A like tells you you're doing everything right. A dislike says you're doing something wrong, but I'm not going to tell you what. So, if you're going to use one, then please leave a comment as well. Um, so if you do like this video, please give it a like because if you want to see more King Slayers and if you want to see me going up against people that I'm seeing in the comments suggesting all the time, then the only way to do that is for me to get a little bit bigger and the only way to get bigger is to use the system and use the tools that YouTube provides to get bigger, which are um, liking and favoriting and commenting and uh, showing your friends and, and all that nonsense. Um, I'm doing this in peaceful, by the way, because... Is that gold? Yay! Because I just wanted to take the opportunity to talk to you guys and uh, and just gather up some resources. I don't really have a lot of time these days, so um, and doing it off peaceful, as you can see, can really add time to the whole experience. So I'm trying to cram this in as as best I can. So, yeah, as I said, if you, if you like the video, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. And we get to... Um, you get to see exactly how many people do like the video, you know, as opposed to just forget. And I, I know myself, I am always guilty of it. You know, I always forget to like the videos. But me, Dave, Nipday, YZ, um, and, and, uh, and some other people are, are, are forming a... How, how, how should we call it? We've always been in a little group. Um, and we think we might start to formalize that soon. Which, might, which will be pretty cool, actually, I think. I'm just going to check around this, because sometimes they spawn diagonally, and I thought gold could only spawn in a thing of four or more, four or less, four or more rather, so having two only is a little bit odd, but it turns out I'm probably wrong about that, yeah, yeah, I'm wrong, let's see, it. no, what was I talking about, yeah, so uh, hopefully you'll see us uh, interacting a bit more together. I know people are really desperate to see um, Kingslayer against Dave. Dave is uh, Dave's worried, guys. He's worried about how many of you there'd be who'd want to take part. 
and as a consequence how many um, how many applications he get and I, I told him I'd help him however I can with the applications but that still doesn't mean that he won't get fucking shitloads so um, we'll see I'm hopeful I'm quietly optimistic that we will do one soon um, but at the moment Dave's only seen me do it against people who will have nowhere near the name, same amount of subscribers as he does and whilst doing it with him would obviously help me out a lot um, even though most of the people who watch his videos will have heard of me oh I've obviously been down that way and led it a different way um, even though they've probably all seen me it will definitely help me because they won't, uh, maybe they don't know I have a channel maybe they don't know I do uh, videos often maybe they don't want to subscribe to me until they see some sort of com content that they like I think people nearly everyone ne I have never I've hardly ever got negative feedback on Kingslayer uh, <laughs> apart from the fact that people think I'm a bit crap at it which I completely sort of em empathize with and agree <laughs> um, uh, I'm so I this is the thing I think I was the favorite each time even going into the last five minutes I think I've always been the favorite against YZ shouldn't have lost noob really shouldn't have lost uh, against MC Crawl, I got um, I got pwned from behind, but that's because of my stupidity. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have left the group, and I most certainly shouldn't have um, uh, tried to get the kill on on MC Crawl until such a point as everything else was um, was like fell fell off. But like that's not my style, you know. I like to go in for the kill. Um, I am. I, yeah, I am more of a de defensive player, I guess, but still, even saying that, I still like to be in the action. I don't want to be in the back, you know, hiding out. I don't think that's a in the style of Kingslayer. I don't really think it's in the right guise. And it happened against MC Kupu a little bit, but not by design, but just by there's people coming for me. I have to run somewhat. And then I tried to get back in the action, but we were, we were all a little bit too far away. You know, Znit's got another, another excellent kill. Um... And by the way, I, I think I put a comment, uh, a link to Sinisnar's channel um, in, in, in fact, I definitely did. I annotated it in the video, so please go check it out because he's got an excellent kill cam that I originally intended to put in the video and completely forgot. I had done quite a lot of editing on that video and had all these plans and uh, just eventually forgot to do one of the most important things, which is put in the kill cam. Uh, in the end, I think MC Kupu was a little bit embarrassed by how she died and I can sort of see that she decided to hide in a hole under the under in, in water for those who didn't actually fully see. I wonder if that's the water that I climbed up with the gravel. You know the little gravel hole that I showed you in the beginning? Okay guys, I'm going to explore the rest of this cave and I'll get back to you in a bit. So I've just been digging around guys and I noticed that my Y level is 33 which means that um, I'm above sea level, I believe. So I'm just going to go up and check where the fuck I am. Because uh, that's kind of confusing me. I think I might be in the other island. You know, the one that's like across from my base. Mm. I don't think I'll... Oh! <laughs> Oops. Sound muted. I, was in the, I was just in the lobby because I was talking to Dave and stuff. I'm midway. Oh, of course, I'm a retard. 16. Oh, I'm an absolute moron. Well, that's cool. Uh, at least I know how to get out because I got really lost going down there again. I just kept going and going and going, and I missed a lot of coal and I missed a lot of iron. I'm going to show you what I've got now. Um, and I think actually that's where we'll draw this particular episode to a close. Because oh, and I've got a cow back, and a sheep back. And another cow. Okay, I'm gonna try and herd these cows in and breed them because I don't want to lose these. Um, three cows, right? Okay. Let's take some of this stuff back. Ah, oh, balls. Let's take some of this stuff back. Go on, give me, give me, give me your goodness. And I don't know why is stuff spawning like that. 
Uh, what I, oh, I want to turn all this to grass, by the way. So that'll be maybe something I'll do for next episode. And this guy's even grey. He's not the, quite the same colour of grey, though. But that's basically Tidberry. <sighs> Damn it. Tidberry, why did you have to go and die? That's not my... It's not there. Alright. That's not my organic chest. There we go. Uh, oh my god, I died with the wheat, didn't I? Bowels, right? Okay, that's a that's a bummer. Well, you just stay right there. Oh, uh, okay, or or don't, or don't. Damn it, could have blocked him in, couldn't I? Um, uh, right, you see it now, guys. I am ending this episode with three cows and one sheep. Now they shouldn't despawn, as far as I'm aware. They really shouldn't, but they probably will. If anyone knows the reason, please let me know. Don't get this iron. Because it's right on the surface. Surface iron. Unlike the Windows surface. Which does actually look at kinda good. I do actually like the look of it. Um, even though it, it kinda fucked up in the uh ooh, another one. Even though it fucked up in the uh descri in the uh demonstration of it, which is kinda funny. Maybe it's because I'm not really a a, a wind a, an iMac fanboy. There's there they are, right. See what I'm worried about is that they'll go in and just swim in the water and swim out to their deaths, and maybe that's what happened. Maybe I should kill them, particularly the cows. I'm going to kill no cows. <laughs> I was going to kill a cow and then decided against it. But I will. Um, feck. Uh, bear with me. Uh, right. Got myself some shears. I'm gonna see if I can get a bed. Yeah, it's unlikely I'll get three pieces of wool from the. Oh, nice! What luck. I got some wood, so we're all good to go. Get myself a nice little bed from this grey wool, which will get me a red bed. And we shall sleep. Yes. Which shall reset my spawn from over there to here. Which is good. And they're still there. Including including naked Tidbury Jr. Right. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that's where I'll end the episode today. Uh, tomorrow or the next day. Or, no, it won't be tomorrow. I think I'm going to try and bring these out. Either weekly or bi-weekly. Uh, I'll start on the whole... Turning this into dirt slash grass process, and then I'll meet. I might actually show you the de the very very basic designs I've drawn for uh, what I would like to uh, what I would like to do vis a vis um, a uh, uh, how my base wants what I want my base to look like, which I think will be pretty 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 impressed by. Um, and then I'll go over and explore that area. All right, see you later. <laughs>